Hi everyone, I'm Anupam Sopti. In this video, I'm going to talk about achieving energy efficiency through multimodal systems. Have you ever observed that when we're sleeping, we're not able to see anything, but we are able to hear things? This is nature's way of saving energy while we are not in an active mode. We use the same phenomena to make our system more energy efficient by restricting the usage of a high power sensor when not in an active mode. The task of obstacle detection is that a visually impaired person is walking outdoors and wants to detect obstacles in the path certain distance in advance. This has to be done both during the day and the night. We take a computer vision based approach to solve this problem. The camera captures the image which is lit by a flashlight and passes it to an object detection algorithm which is running on a Raspberry Pi computer and a DNA accelerator stick. However, the computer vision based system has a very high power consumption. It also has a large number of false positives. How do we reduce energy consumption? A real life system is on all the time. Therefore, per emerge energy savings are not directly translated to system energy savings. If a processor or camera is turned off during the operation, latency of turning it on also affects accuracy because frames are missed. Accelerators used for low power inference also consume additional waste power even when not in use. The clock keeps ticking. Even if you reduce the number of frames that you're processing, there is an energy accuracy trade-off. This energy of the system is still consumed for running the operating system, maintaining the system state, and receiving frames from the camera. So, while one could try and save energy by the methods that we discussed above, it's not sufficient due to high power consumption even when no obstacle is present. The idea is to use another low power sensor. In this work, we use an ultrasonic sensor which sends out a wave in the direction of walking and calculates the distance of the nearest obstacle based on the time of the flight of the returning wave. This helps us to reduce the false positives as well as enable a low power continuous operation. Now, we add a triggered mode to the system where the ultrasonic sensor detects an obstacle and then signals the camera to acquire an image and run the algorithm to find out the type of the object. We also add a lazy camera mode where the camera is put to sleep unless the ultrasonic sensor detects an obstacle. We also question whether or not we should add an accelerator to the system. Thus, our complete design space contains all these modes, whether the ultrasonic sensor triggers or does not trigger the camera, whether the camera is put to sleep or continues to acquire frames in between obstacles, and whether or not we use an accelerator. Now let us look at the results. The ultrasonic trigger lowers the energy consumption by around half, while keeping the change in the accuracy to a minimum. When the camera is turned off between the obstacles in the lazy camera mode, the energy consumption is further reduced at the cost of around 20% accuracy. Finally, when we remove the accelerator from the system, even though energy consumption is reduced, the accuracy also reduces. Heterogeneous sensing is therefore a must for robust energy efficient sensing. Application may or may not help at the system level. So designers should be wary of the base power consumption in addition to the inference cost. This work was done as a part of the project Mavi, Mobility Assistant for Visually Impaired at IIT Delhi. And it was published in Euro Micro Conference on Digital System Design 2019.